Welcome. Good. Are we live? Okay. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference Service of Daily Prayer and Song. Today is Thursday, March 4th. We are recognizing Thursdays in Black, and we are celebrating Women's History Month this month. And whether you are on Facebook, if you are on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so glad that you've chosen to be with us this morning. Again, we would also like you to visit our website, sdconference.info, and we'd also like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, and you can do so by texting SDPC to the number 84576. That'll automatically sign you up for text messages from us, and we promise your information is safe with us. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to this service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing the number 909-318-7011. In family, we are celebrating and we are participating in the March 8th Interfaith Prayer for Justice for George Floyd and for Black Liberation. Please visit the Proctor Conference Facebook page to learn more. We have a link and we would like you to sign up. You can ring bells, light candles, and take an eight minute and 46 second pause um, for justice on Monday, March 8th, 8 a.m. local time, wherever you are in the world. We would like you to participate with us. And we would also like you to participate in this weekend's 56th anniversary Selma Bridge Crossing Jubilee. It is the largest annual civil rights commemoration and you can register at selmajubilee.com. Family, we have a special guest host this morning. All month long, we are celebrating Women's History Month with women prayer warriors from around the globe. And today we have a special guest host, Ms. Deja Hope Garner. She is currently at Gwendolyn Brooks College Preparatory Academy in Chicago. And Deja is interested in furthering her love for writing and public speaking via Toastmasters as a career as an investigative journalist. She has received several awards and honors, and she is one whom Midwest College Project says that they are proud to be able to supply her with a career mentor opportunity. Deja is now being mentored by one of Chicago's talk show hosts, exploring the broadcast media talk show host profession. She is a dancer and as a choreographer of dance and drama. She is a passionate entrepreneur and a lash technician. She is the owner and operator of Hope Lash Addiction, where she not only has a large client base, but she also facilitates individual and group activities for summer camp participants. She is the eldest child of Dana and Brian Garner Sr. Senior and the big sister of her brothers, Elijah and Brian Jr. Family, we are so happy to have her with us this morning. Thank you so much. And now we welcome our guest host, Ms. Deja Hope Garner. Thank you so much for the wonderful introduction. Um, I'd like to get started. I will bless the Lord at all times. God praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes it boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear me, be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt God's name together. God, we thank you for this day. For this is the day that you have made and we are rejoicing and glad in it. We thank you for all our spirits we are encounter during our daily time of prayer. Come now, God, into this virtual space and make your presence known. Please anoint your minister of music and your prayer warrior for the outpouring on behalf of others and us. We need you, God, like never before. Use us to your glory this day as we continue to honor our ancestors, those praying women who come before us like my grandmother, Deacon Wanda North, who made a way for me. May our morning worship be pleasing in your sight this day. We pray with thanksgiving, 
and the majestic name of Jesus, the Christ, Ashe, and Amen. We thank every one of you for joining in solidarity with the World Conference of Churches at the United Nations at the Proctor Conference to honor Third Days in Black, a campaign towards a world without rape and violence. Each and every Thursday, we wear black. We pause, we pray, we post, hashtag Thursdays in Black, and we pledge in partnership towards the end to gender-based violence. Our prayer warrior for today serves as a presiding prelate of the House of the Lord Churches. Standing at the intersection of faith and politics, she works with community activists and organizations political entities, businesses and faith leaders and communities to assist them in the building coalitions and partnerships that advance the common good. For her work within communities of faith, Religious News Serves named her one of the 12 most influential Democrats in the nation of faith and value politics. She has also served as the resident fellow at Harvard University Institute for Politics, where she focused on the role faith and values plays in American politics. She serves as an equity advisor for Sephora Inc. and on the editorial board of the Global Women's Forum. She is founder and co-governor of Power Rising, which supports Black women in levigating their economic, social, and political power. After hearing from today's Minister of Music, Rev. Lang Turner, the next speaking voice you will hear is that of Bishop Leah Daughtry. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a full taste of glory divine. I'm an heir of salvation and purchased by God. I'm born of his spirit. Oh, I've been washed in his blood. Perfect submission. All is at rest. I and my Savior, I'm happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above. I've been filled with his spirit. Oh, I've been lost in his love. For this is my story. This is my song. I'm praising my, my Savior. This is my song. I've been praising my Savior all the day long. For this is my story. Yeah, this is my song. I'm praising my. I'm praising my Savior. I'm praising my Savior. Even in sickness and sadness, I'm praising my Savior. Whatever my life has taught me, 
you to say, I'm praising my Savior. Oh, the day long, I'm praising my Good morning, beloved. It is so good to be with you this morning as we join together in prayer. As we go in prayer, I wanna turn your attention to the word of the Lord as it is found in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah, the 17th chapter. And we begin reading at the fifth verse. Thus says the Lord, Cursed are those who trust in mere mortals and who make flesh their strength, whose hearts turn away from the Lord. They shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when relief comes. They shall live in the parched places of the wilderness in an uninhabited salt land. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord whose trust is in the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat comes and its leaves shall stay green. In the year of drought, it is not anxious and it does not cease to bear fruit. Let's pray. Creator God, we are grateful to you for this day, this day that you have made, one we have not seen before. And as we set our intentions for the day, as we come together in prayer, Lord, we thank you for this word that you have given to us. We thank you for reminding us of where our trust is best placed. We thank you for reminding us of who you are and that is in you that our trust should and must and best is placed. God, in this time of trial, as we journey through yet more days of COVID, Lord, as we give attention to our sisters and brothers in Texas and in parts of the South that have no water and that have no heat and can't seem to find a way or find the help that they need, God, as we are navigating our way through grief, as we are navigating our way through loss, Lord, as we are navigating our way through the daily tests and trials that come and would have come regardless of COVID, as we are sorting our businesses, as we are sorting our schoolwork, as we are sorting our relationships, as we are sorting our church work, as we are sorting our lives, Lord, help us to remind to remember that first and foremost, our trust belongs in you. We cannot trust in man, we cannot trust in flesh, we cannot trust in handmade and man-made things. Our trust belongs in you. You are the one that gives us the provision that we need. You are Jehovah Jireh, the God who provide. Your name is provision. And in these times, God, we look to you for provision. You've promised us in your word that we, if we plant ourselves in you, you will ensure that our lives, our work, everything that our hands touch flourishes evergreen. And more than that, God, you have put a hedge of protection around us. So even when drought comes, even when there are dry times, even when we seem to experience barrenness and lack, yet we flourish, yet you surround us, yet we grow, yet our leaf is green, and it is the, our leaf is green regardless of the circumstance because the circumstance does not fuel us. The circumstance is not our source. 
The circumstance is not what drives us. The circumstance is not what enriches us. The circumstance is not what enlivens us. So the circumstance cannot affect us because our source, our grounding, and our root is in you, God. And as long as we are planted in you, you promise that our leaf shall not wither and whatsoever we do shall prosper. So God, we claim in our lives, we declare in our lives that you are Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. You are Jehovah Rohi, the God who is our shepherd. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God who is our healer. You are Jehovah Nisi, the God who is our banner. You are Jehovah Sekenu, the God who is our righteousness. El God, and you are Jehovah Shama. God, you are there. No matter what we face, you are there. No matter what we're dealing with, you are there. Come what way, you are there. And God, we declare you to be these things in our lives. Your name is provision. Whatever we need. Whatever we require, whatever we desire, God, you will provide it. You've declared it. We believe it. We trust you. And we count it done. So, God, we go through our day declaring that we are rooted and grounded and planted in you. Come what may, whatever winds blow, whatever trouble comes, whatever the phone call may bring, whatever the email, we are rooted and grounded in you. And so we continue to flourish. And so we continue to bloom. So we continue to prosper. And so our leaf remains evergreen. And whatever we do shall prosper. Remind us of your word, planted in us, rooted in us, grounded in us, that everything we do might be a reflection of your will, your word, and your way. We trust you, God. We believe you, and we count it done. In the strong and mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. I've had some good days, and I've had some hills to climb. I've heard some weary days and some lonely nights. Oh, but when I look around and I see, I think things over. All of my good days, they are way my bad days. So I, I won't complain. You see, sometimes my clouds hang low. And I can hardly see the road, the road. You know, I've had to ask the question, Lord, how can you leave me down here in so, so, so much pain? But he knows what's better for me oh thank you jesus although my weary eyes they cannot see oh i've had to learn how to say thank you lord i i won't complain but i stop by to tell you god has been good to me oh yes he has he's been so good to me more than his word could ever be he's been so good to me he drowned everyone of my tears 
his way, hallelujah, and he turned my midnights into day. So I stand out and tell you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. I, yeah, I won't complain, but God, God has been good to me. Has it been good to anybody in here? He's been so good to me, more than his world could ever be. He's been good, God's been good to me, to me, to me. He tried everyone of my tears away, and he turned my midnights into day. So I want to tell you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, in spite of what I feel, thank you, Lord, come one may from day to day, thank you, Lord, I, I want to, I want to, I want to, I, I want complete. Yes, God, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Somebody ought to type amen in the comment box. I know you've been blessed this morning by our special guest this morning. And we just thank God for this moment. Listen. In the season of Lent, you always forsake, or not even forsake, you give up something in order to gain God. But I want to say right now, one thing we don't want you to give up on is the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. So I need you to do me this earnest favor. If you've got $5, if you've got $10, if you've got $20, $50, or $100, send it right on over to the SDP Conference dot info backslash invest dash contribute and also we can be found on givelify this is the time where we see so much trouble happening in our nation we are getting ready for the Derek chauvin trial we are getting ready uh jackson mississippi has no running water uh houston texas has lifted the mass ban and we need prophetic fighters and proctor trains them up as you see with deja and also continues to fortify and support our elders. So we need you to come on, donate what you can. It'll be a blessing to us. Thank you so much. And I turn it back over to my sister, Deja. And now for our benediction, please repeat after me. I must live with myself. And so I want to be fit for myself to know. I don't want to come to the setting sun, hating myself for the things I've done. Ashe and amen. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning. Until then, make today phenomenal.